Your hot throw is a direct result of the efficiency of your candle system. Your wax, wicks, vessels, fragrance oil all play a critical role in this. But many of you are doing all these things right and having what appears to be a perfectly burning candle in every respect, but you're still not getting a hot throw. Now I've posted a number of other videos that uh, kind of touch on these topics and I'll put them all in the description box for you guys so you're able to check them out at your own kind of leisure. But in this video, I want to focus specifically on fragrance oils. Let me reiterate that. The quality of your fragrance oils. Fragrance oils are not really what we might imagine. They're actually a combination of three primary things. Aromatics, so those are all the different things that make them smell wonderful to us. It's a combination of essential oils, uh, bioidentical ingredients that are synthesized in a lab, oftentimes that mimic essential oils, but will remove things that are actually toxic to us if they were uh, to be left as they would be in the essential oils. And then there are some totally synthetic notes that are basically ones that we don't get in nature. For example, like chocolate or blueberry, things that are really important in some candles and many candles, like lots of different notes like this, but um, we don't find them in nature. So they are replicated in labs. And that is all part of the aromatic category of fragrance oils. The other two categories are solvents and dilutants. Hear me out on this one. All fragrance oils not only have these things, but they have to have them in order for your candle to burn properly. If your fragrance oil didn't contain a solvent, which I know most of you are like, oh my God, Alan, that means they're diluted. Yes and no. Um, the solvent actually is what causes the aromatics to be able to suspend. What I mean by that is when an aroma is in powder form, which oftentimes they can be, sometimes they're cold pressed or steam distilled or a number of other things, but um, when they're in powder form, they have to be suspended so that they can essentially become a liquid that your, when it's mixed with your candle wax, your wick can actually wick up and uh, throw into the room, which is how we smell that fragrance. When that candle, that melted wax, reaches a sufficient temperature, the uh, candle essentially, the fragrance molecules essentially uh, become airborne and we are able to smell them. And that's why we call it fragrance throw. So solvents actually play a critical role in this because they not only help the fragrance to burn better, actually, or really burn at all. If you didn't have solvents, you wouldn't be able to burn most fragrances. Um, but they also help the candle to last longer and be able to wick easier. So they're actually pretty critical. And dilutants are often required for essential oils because they can be very, very viscous. For example, take vetiver essential oil. It's not even like a liquid, well, it's a semi-liquid form, but it's really like a sticky sap almost. And so in order for that to be able to be utilized in a candle at all, you have to use what's called a dilutant to thin the mixture, to thin the, uh, com the aromatic component basically slightly so that it is able to be utilized in a candle. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, that some dilutants are used to cut fragrance oils. And you're absolutely right, that can be the case. There's actually a lot of folks that will take fragrance oils and um, essentially cut them. These can be suppliers, I wouldn't say very credible ones, but um, essentially cut the fragrance oil so that it is not as strong and it is more diluted and it won't typically throw as well in wax or in any of your other products that you may utilize it in. So if your concentration of solvent and or dilutant is too high, your fragrance throw is gonna suck no matter how well made your candle is, no matter how efficient your system is and effective it is, your fragrance, your candle just won't produce sufficient hot throw. Um, it, it could be varying levels of hot throw, but it's not going to be what you would consider good hot throw that you're probably looking for. And suppliers are not going to tell you the concentration of solvent and or dilutant in your fragrance oil. It actually probably wouldn't even benefit you to know it because it's gonna differ depending on the different aromatic components in that oil. The biggest problem that I've had, even with my favorite suppliers, is that one oil could be really good and then the next oil is kind of dodgy and then one's kind of, you know, in the middle. And uh, so there's not a lot of consistency across the product line. Now, I do wanna put a huge disclaimer to that statement to say that some of this depends on the notes in the fragrance and your individual notes. So what I mean by that is certain fragrance notes, especially ones that are more bass heavy, kind of woodier, sometimes earthier notes, like your sandalwood, your cedar, even sometimes like moss notes or uh, patchouli even. Um, notes that are gonna be more bass heavy, leather, tonka, 
um, different musks, they're going to be very, very much like an underlying current or mood in your space. They're not gonna kinda whack you over the head like when you burn a um, spice heavy candle or a floral fragrance, for example, or like a baking fragrance. It's more of like an underlying current that creates a mood and a vibe in your space. And I also wanna say that some people's noses are much more sensitive to certain scents than others. So for example, like a floral, I could smell a peony and think, oh my God, this is so strong. I, I definitely don't wanna burn this in uh, uh, like a medium sized room because it's gonna like throw me out of the room. And someone else may think, no, this is, this is okay, but I, I could take this up a notch. And that is because fragrance is very subjective. I know I say this in all my videos about fragrance, but it's really important to underscore because I know there's a lot of people who will, um, and I'm actually guilty of this myself, speak as if it is objective when, and I try to put the disclaimer in my videos, but I still sometimes find myself wanting to speak as if it is an objective fact when it is my subjective opinion. And that can differ from nose to nose and from scent family to scent family within you know, different people's noses. But even with all that said, I have noticed that there's a massive difference between the quality of one fragrance oil to the next, even among some of my favorite suppliers. And sometimes, as I mentioned earlier, it's just that the fragrance oil has not thoroughly been tested in candle wax. And it's like a huge telltale sign when it is a citrus fragrance and you put that into a candle and all of a sudden it smells like gasoline or it smells like a fuel type of a scent. And that to me is a major frustration when I experience that because it tells me something about that supplier. It, it tells me that that supplier has not thoroughly tested their products because if you tested most of these types of citruses um, that, that can do this in different waxes, this would come out pretty consistently. So anyways, I just wanna say that there is a company that I know I've been talking about a lot recently that I just haven't encountered this nearly as much with. And I would say the fragrance oils not only are pretty consistent across the board, where with most of them, I would rate the hot throw at least a four out of five, which is pretty unheard of for my channel. If you guys have been watching for any amount of time, you probably know that. And the other thing I would say about this company is that the approach to fragrance much more parallels perfumery than it does candle fragrance oils. And perfumery, some of you will know, has been one of my most intense fascinations. And it has been something that has piqued my interest for a number of years. And I think the primary reason for it is the perfume is so tailored to an individual. It is like a piece of artwork in your living room or in your home, where when you look at that, you see a picture that not only tells a whole story, but it's something that is a visual representation. In the case of fragrance, it is a, an aromatic representation of a mood, of an emotion, of a feeling, of a place that you might have gone to, of something nostalgic from the past that you were able to bring into the present and bring alive. So anyways, you guys, yeah, I am a little bit obsessed with this company because I consistently find that. And I don't think it's much of a surprise. The owner of this company is, and most of you will know from YouTube, has been a candle maker for the last 15 years. And I think that that is largely why the fragrances are so good, partly, but also partly just because of his approach to candle making as a whole. It's very scientific, it's very thorough and tedious and rigorous and uh, I, I would say it's a very time-consuming approach. That's about all I have for this video. And no, this is not an ad. This is not an affiliated video or like a sponsored video. When I really like something, I personally want you to be aware of its existence. And that to me, um, I feel like can cause you as a maker to be able to go further in this craft faster. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. If you did enjoy, leave it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And leave me a comment below if you have any particular types of fragrance videos that you would really like to see from me. You guys know this type of content is my absolute favorite to film. Anyways, I'm sending all of you peace, love, and light, and I'm wishing all of you happy candle making. We believe fragrance connects stories, twists and turns, and trailblazers with the wild and sacred. Like members in an orchestra, it's like we play our own part, which is united into one song with the story of each other part. Profoundly personal, yet deeply universal, we breathe to the scent of love, harmony, and aliveness, allowing it to rattle our bones and enchant our senses until we return to the dirt and ascend to the sky. I'd like to take the time to thank my patrons for their incredible support. Exploring a deeper than knowing
potential for life that is thriving. Go deep, mute out the chatter, feel it, burn off the fire, let go until there's peace to your core. Live a life you adore. authentic at all costs and never lose your spark because that's what makes your brand uniquely you. I see you, I'm rooting for you, and I know you have what it takes to be successful and to have fun with this craft. Until next time, happy candle making.